No, I'll not start this video making a reference to the song sorry seems to be the hardest word. This would be so cheap and this channel... Well, you basically just did. Dang it! Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and I find it super unpleasant to say sorry, even in case I actually am. Now you may think, Ew, how unkind. I mean, everyone makes mistakes and you are too arrogant to admit it. And yeah, I get it, but hear me out, okay? Because I think that there is way more to it than simple snootiness. There are people that have no big problem with apologizing and there are people like me. Eric, for example, doesn't like to say sorry, but he is fine with it and he says it way more often than I manage to. I feel like I'm always the awkward one in our relationship when it comes to social behavior, no matter what it is. There are various reasons for this saying sorry problem. Maybe the people grew up differently or they don't like to show emotions in general and what's going on inside of them. And admitting a mistake exposes you to some extent. Maybe they didn't receive many apologies in their family, so they are not used to neither hearing them nor replacing them. And of course, a low self-esteem and exaggerated sense of pride or perfectionism may be of importance as well. I guess for me it's a mix out of low self-esteem, emotional distance and being a perfectionist. As a child, my parents always expected very much from me. The only way to hear a well done from my father was to bring home the best marks and to work super hard. For that reason, I often felt that my skills were insufficient and I kind of closed up. Because the only thing that seemed to matter was my school performance and all the emotions going on were something well, that you had to handle yourself. The fact that I barely heard that I did something good made me feel unpleasant with admitting that I did something bad. Everything apart from perfect was bad anyways already. I had reached the bottom of my self-confidence and now they wanted me to dig a hole to fall even deeper. Having a healthy attitude towards your flaws requires that you have a healthy attitude towards your strong points. Otherwise, the system is out of balance as it was for me. Now that I gained more self-confidence and that I have people around me that tell me both you did well and you fucked up, I learned how to deal with it better, but I'll never be 100% you know, normal, whatever normal is. But hey, the way I am now, I'd pretty confidently assume that I'm not the only one that doesn't enjoy apologizing. I would go so far as to say that most people dislike saying sorry. I mean, officially and submissively exposing that you have been wrong, that's nothing that you write in your CV under hobbies, right? However, at the same time, I would say that apologies are overused or abused in our society nowadays. I sense a sort of sorry inflation that may sound paradox, I know, an exaggerated popularity of something that is painful that normally just applies to Justin Bieber songs and hey, he has a song called Sorry, right? Coincidence? But to me it seems that a quick sorry has nowadays become the equivalent of a get out of prison free card for social arguments and interpersonal conflicts. Some people use it no matter if they mean it, if it's appropriate or if it's just an empty phrase. So in case something really bad happens, you kind of have to prove that your sorry is sincere and that makes it even more uncomfortable. Basically, I found four reasons why it's so tricky to say sorry. First reason, you are simply not sorry. Maybe in your opinion it's the other person's fault. Or you did something wrong, but you don't feel like the other person deserves that you apologize. Secondly, you are sorry, but the other person did something wrong too. And by being the first one that apologizes, you risk that it's gonna be all on you in the end. Because maybe the other person is just like, Nah, it's all right, mate, I forgive you. Even though he or she was an asshole too. Just imagine you just had a huge and ugly argument with your girlfriend. Things heated up a little bit too much in a bad way. And you end up saying sorry while she doesn't. Even though she made a very embarrassing and not at all appropriate comparison between a malformed carrot and your nose. All the valid points you raised for the garbage. And that is super frustrating. You, you are, are stupid! stupid. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, okay? Okay, mate, I forgive you. Third scenario, you are sorry and you were the only one who did something wrong. But it takes some cojones to admit that, which makes it really difficult. In each of these cases, it helps a lot to find out which type you are before struggling too much with a simple sorry. In the case that you are simply not sorry, 
don't say sorry. Lying doesn't make you a better person and the conflict you had will just pop up again in no time. Sometimes you are so annoyed by a discussion that you say sorry just to get out of it. But even though that may seem like a clean and clever solution, you'll just postpone the problem. And the typical, hey, look, I don't understand the problem, but I still want to have sex with you later, so I'm sorry, kind of apology doesn't count either. Avoiding to look like an asshole, getting out of a nerve-wracking discussion and benefits from letting the other person win are not reasons to place an apology, okay? This behavior is the main cause of this sorry inflation that I mentioned in the beginning. And it makes honest apologies more difficult because you kind of have to prove that you're not one of the pretenders, postponers or benefit seekers, but that you're really, truly, honestly, sincerely sorry. So you have to add even more personality drama and pop it off to show that your apology is authentic. And that poof, hurts the ego. If you want to say sorry, but you also feel that the other person has to communicate that. That's something that I always want to tell people struggling with normal life social problems. Just communicate what you feel. What about you don't say sorry only, but something like, listen man, I'm really sorry and I mean it. But I think we both overdid it a bit, don't you think? Fair enough, I would say. In case you did something wrong, you know it, and an apology is only needed from your side, there's only one way to escape this situation. It's by, well, saying sorry. Easier said than done, I know. But there are some things that you can tell yourself to make it less difficult. First of all, don't forget that saying sorry doesn't mean, hey, look, I'm a stupid idiot and you are flawlessly awesome. I apologize for having poisoned your blessed soul with my wicked spirit. No, instead it's a sign of respect. And it means that you're able to put yourself in the other person's shoes and to think outside the box, which is something that only intelligent and thoughtful people do. You're a fair player, honest, polite, and self-reflective. You want to be a good person. Give yourself a pat on the back before you place an apology to gather the necessary confidence for it. Admitting a mistake takes courage, so be proud whenever you do. Every honest apology makes you a better and true up person. Try to lose this feeling of shame, because the more sincere and warm an apology is, the less embarrassing it becomes. Did someone ever truly and honestly said sorry to you, and afterwards you perceived him as a pathetic, inferior worm that you wanted to laugh about? No? Well, here's news for you. The recipient of a warm apology normally appreciates your honesty and may even value you more as a person than before the conflict. So basically admitting that you have been, well, not awesome makes you more awesome. How about you? Are you able to say sorry with ease or do you struggle like me? If so, what do you think is the reason for it? Any good tips or interesting stories to share? Did my video make sense to you or am I a pathetic weirdo being overwhelmed with the smallest of social matters? Let me know in the comments down below and leave a thumbs up if you liked the video because that would make me if some puppy eyes may help with this decision, here they are. Now I wish you all a very beautiful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and see you in the next one. Bye.